Good morning. I'm coming to you as I have been all month from Washington, D.C., scene of some momentous and historic events. Here to help us sort through what is happening and what's likely to happen next is the second term representative from the third congressional district, Representative Lori Trahan. Representative, welcome. Thank you, John. It's good to be with you. Good to see you. So one of your colleagues, Congressman Don Beyer of West Virginia, was quoted the other day as describing the atmosphere in the House as the most poisonous he's ever seen, speculating about members of the House who are either cultists, you know, members of QAnon or, uh, you know, far-right agitators uh, known for intemperate rhetoric and, in some cases, for carrying guns inside the Capitol and asking, quote, are we safe from them? Do you feel threatened by some of your own colleagues? Well, I think one of the things that we learned in the immediate aftermath of the attack on the Capitol when we were all in a holding room together uh, was that, uh, you know, we were trading one crisis uh, for another, right? There were so many folks in that room who weren't wearing masks. Uh, when asked, they sort of laughed it off. Uh, and that is the um, that is the tension right now that's in in the Congress. Uh, we've gotten so many folks who have contracted co uh, COVID nineteen, probably as a direct result of being in that room. And uh, and then even since then, with some of the rule changes we've made, uh, you know, with the with the metal detectors going into the house, we've seen folks bypass them. Uh, you know, this is a this is a deliberative body where we're so doing the work of the people, also setting an important example uh, for people all over the country. And it is it's it's uh, alarming. It, it's uh, it's maddening to see so many members act um, uh, irresponsibly and and uh, and dangerously. So we're we did put forth um, some. Uh, legislation, some rule changes to actually apply fines to uh, to those members who are completely disregarding the rules of the House of Representatives. Well, two thirds of the House Republican Caucus voted to overturn the results of the election to invalidate validly chosen electors. I imagine you correct me if I'm wrong that among the that large majority of Republicans are individuals who you know may be friendly with or have worked with. Can you work with any of them going forward? And if so, how? You know, it's a great question. I mean, there are some Republicans who I've developed great working relationships with who voted to turn these election results, uh, even after we were attacked. And I was really disappointed uh, by that vote. You know, but at the end of the day, I was sent to Washington to get the job done and deliver for the folks in the third district. And so that's the reason that in my you know, first two years, even with the divisiveness um, of the government shutdown and the impeachment, sadly, even COVID, uh, you know, almost five, almost half of the bills that I've uh, introduced have been bipartisan. Uh, and, you know, I was able to get five bills across the finish line and signed into law. And I'm going to continue to do that. What I can't tolerate is when members get on the floor and they spread lies and conspiracy theories, and that though, and then those speeches are disseminated by a media ecosystem that is truly uh, changing hearts and minds across our country and creating well, uh, two sets of truth in our country. That is where we need to hold members accountable. Well, we have to take a break, but briefly, what do you want to see happen to members who do that in the future? Yeah, so I think we have to look at what those uh, what those consequences are. Certainly, we've taken uh, away the ability for people to speak on the floor. We've taken away the ability for people to serve on committees. Uh, we've also, uh, you know, gone farther than that. And you know, there's there's an investigation right now, or there's legislation to investigate what some of those protocols should be. Uh, should members continue to spread lies on the on the people on the house of the uh, on the floor of the people's house? Yeah. All right, let's take that break and we'll continue our conversation with Congresswoman Lori Trahan in just a moment. Please stay with us.